What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and I've got some more NBA news to of course be talking about with you guys. In today's video what I actually wanted to talk about is the recent reports that do suggest that the Golden State Warriors have officially signed Avery Bradley and Langston Galloway and this is all being reported by Shams. Originally it was actually reported that Avery Bradley had signed a guaranteed deal making him the 15th man and then that Langston Galloway had actually signed a training camp deal but from what I'm hearing right now there is a couple of rumors that actually suggest that that Avery Bradley one year full roster spot deal might not actually be so certain where there's rumors coming out saying that the contract is actually non-guaranteed so if they want to waive him and promote Langston Galloway to that spot they can of course do that um, or there's also reports that just say it's a training camp deal, but from what we're officially hearing by Shams, it is an official deal, although I have some suspicion as I think the Warriors are going into this season with an open mind at their 15th roster spot. Not just that, it does really look like they're actually not interested in a guard anymore with it being a lot of recent reports stating that they are actually looking to sign a forward or a center as well. We've heard they're also interested in Marcus Sol and they're about to start scouting some potential forwards who could come in for their training camp. And what really concerns me about this is why would you trade Eric Pascal then if you're interested in bringing in a forward? That's why I don't believe the Golden State Warriors are interested in, you know, in adding another forward because if they were interested in adding a forward, they would have probably never traded, you know, Eric Pascal to begin with. They clearly want to get rid of a forward to bring in another guard or what I believe to be now another center. The center depth is looking a little bit thin. You know, they do have James Wiseman who I do expect to have a breakout year. You know, I've spoken about it many times, but I like to compare him to Darius Garland. Not the way they play, of course, but the way they came into the NBA. Both players basically jumped from high school to the NBA and in their first season were pretty much called a bust. Of course, they only played a couple of college games um, and they were really bad in their first season. But now we saw, you know, Darius Garland was labeled one of the biggest busts. Came out and surprised a lot of people and had a breakout year where... He actually looked to be like Cleveland's future now with a lot of people, you know, actually drafting him in the top five again if they were going to do their redraft. Some even saying he could be, you know, the fourth pick. Uh, I've heard some people reach and say he's better than RJ Barrett. Not too sure on that yet. I guess we'll have to see how this upcoming season goes. But hey, I really do like Darius Garland. You know, he's probably my favorite player. Um, and I think James Wiseman can have a jump very similar to him. But again, there is always the concern that James Wiseman might have an injury again. Um, uh, you look at Kevon Looney, he also had a couple of injuries here and there as well. That's your backup center. You're looking at Draymond Green, who might play some backup center. But I think they'll really balance Draymond as that point forward type role predominantly this season. Um, with them lacking an extra backup point guard besides Jordan Paul and like Steph Curry. So I think then you kind of look forward to maybe getting a center in. You know, Marcus Sol could be that guy. He's a, a veteran too that adds some really nice three-point shooting um, and can add some nice leadership and maybe even mentor James Wiseman. You also look at Avery Bradley though, who it looks like they could be now potentially bring in. Avery Bradley is perfect for them because in my opinion, I really, really do like Avery Bradley and what he was able to do with the Los Angeles Lakers that season. People forget he actually started like the whole year over KCP before deciding not to go with them to play in the bubble, which there was a lot of rumors on why he decided not to do that. Some people were saying he was um, actually angry with some people in the Lakers organization. Could be true because straight away after that, he decided to leave them for the Miami Heat. So hey, that could be a, a reason right there. Then, you know, Miami did win all right. Um, and then I believe, I th was he traded to Houston or something like that? I don't even know, but it went all right at Miami before. Now he's kind of looking for another spot in the league. Apparently he was actually interested in returning back to Miami, but they didn't want him back. That's another report that was going out there. But the reason why I really like him for the Golden State Warriors, I feel like he can be like a Sean Livingston type guy. Back in the day when they used to have Livingston kind of players that dude that can guard point guard and shooting guard and play real bo small ball small forward if really really needed um again he could be a really nice defender um of a good ball handler could even be a playmaker here and there Avery Bradley kind of fits that routine that we've seen that Sean Livingston built um and, you know we've seen that they really want to bring back in some guys that 
used to be like position like the key players on their team. You know, we saw they brought back Andre Iguodala to play that obviously Andre Iguodala role. We're seeing they're looking to bring in maybe now Avery Bradley to maybe play that Sean Livingston role. Um, they kind of really looking for. You know, and you look, they brought in James Wiseman to maybe play that Andrew Bogut role, um, but a lot better. They're, they're really looking to kind of bring back in these players to kind of solidify and fulfill roles that other players used to play back in the day. I'm not exactly too sure why Langston Galloway has been signed to a training camp deal. Again, I will be talking about Isaiah Thomas in a second, because I have a lot to talk about that situation before. You know, I don't know if any of you guys have heard about that, but again, let's talk about Langston Galloway first. Langston Galloway, I don't think, really makes any sense for the Golden State Warriors, as, as, of course, they already have a backup, like, combo guard that can be a really nice scorer off the bench in Jordan Poole. He's a lot younger than Langston Galloway. He's a lot more fit. He's, uh, I just think, a way better player. I don't see the reason to bring in Langston Galloway when you've already got a dude like Jordan Poole kind of coming off your bench. The only way I think they'd bring in Langston Galloway is if maybe Jordan Poole got injured or a scorer got injured on this Warriors team and they needed to bring in a scorer real quick. Which makes me think that Langston Galloway, I think he should try and impress in this training camp, but then not just that. What I really think Langston Galloway should maybe do is kind of stay in Golden State for a little bit, you know, stay in San Francisco because honestly, I think they do like him. I just think that... They are, it would only come in for an injury, so hey, maybe, maybe he waits, and then when an injury inevitably happens, which I hope it, you know, for Warriors fans' sake, it doesn't, and again, oh man, I would hate if it happened to Clay Thompson, like, please, just let this man have a healthy season, that would be great, um, but again, let's just say, one of the players gets injured, uh, Langston Galloway comes in and adds some nice scoring, and plus, he's already in San Francisco right now. What I would do if I was Langston Galloway is I'd probably do what Jeremy Lin did last season where he signed for the Santa Cruz Warriors. Of course, Jeremy Lin never got that opportunity, which really did suck. I, I thought Lin deserved an opportunity in the NBA here and there, but I don't think the Warriors were looking for a backup point guard like Jeremy Lin. Um, but again, Langston Galloway could do that go and sign for, you know, uh, the, like the, the Warriors G League team. And then basically if an injury happens or something like that, then you come in, um, and you might get some minutes here and there. That's what Langston Galloway should do. But before I talk about who I think they should sign as their 15th man, can we talk about how unprofessionally it has been reported that the Warriors handled Isaiah Thomas real quick? I don't know. I know a lot of Warriors fans were kind of disappointed about this, um, but it, there were all talks that Isaiah Thomas actually worked out, was wanting to work out for the Warriors, and they actually told him he can come in for a workout. And then there were reports that said that he actually did do the war, uh, the workout, but once the workout was completed, they basically went up to him and said, hey, you had an all right workout, but we're not in the market right now to sign a dude like you. Which kind of brings up the question, like, why, why would they get him to work out in the first place if they're not interested in signing a dude like Isaiah Thomas? Like, wouldn't you just say to him, hey, we like what you did, we're going to place you on a training camp deal, uh, stay in San Francisco, um, you know, we'll give you a G League contract, and if you want to sign that, uh, you can play for a G League team up until you get a call from an NBA team, and then, hey, you play for the G League team, we're going to be more inclined to sign you later on in the year, or something like that. I'm sure Thomas, he might be thinking about that, uh, maybe he didn't want to go to a G League team, who actually knows at this point? But I think it's a little bit disrespectful to bring in a dude to come and practice for you and do a workout for you. And then you basically say to him, hey man, we we don't want to sign you anymore. Uh, you know, we're not in the market for you, even though you just took the time out of your day to come do a workout for us. And we're, we're probably not paying you. <laughs> like, come on now, Warriors. That's a that's a little bit disrespectful, don't don't we think? But when, it look, when we look at who's going to be their 15th man, I think it will be Avery Bradley. I think it makes a lot of sense to bring him in. He can play that Sean Livingston type role, which I think the Warriors really want to fulfill. Again, for some reason, you know, back in the day, I was kind of like, hey, wouldn't LaMelo Ball be perfect to play that Sean Livingston role? I still stand by that. I still I still think that LaMelo Ball could have been a really nice ball handler, backup defender for this team. Like what he's doing for Hornets right now, but at, at a near all-star level, like LaMelo Ball right now is legitimately playing, could be like an all-star nearly in his second season. 
The dude is a great scorer, he's a good three-point shooter, he's a good facilitator, he's a good playmaker, and he's a good defender. Like, come on there, surely the Warriors could have brought him in. I don't know, they took Wiseman. Maybe now though, now thinking back at it, maybe they wanted Wiseman to kind of fulfill that Andrew Bogut role that they had Bogut do for so long, you know, so many years. Maybe they were looking to bring in another dude like that. Maybe they were more focused on fulfilling that role than a Sean Livingston type player, which is what I'm thinking they have, you know, kind of done now. But hey, now's the time. Maybe go and get that Sean Livingston type player in right now. Avery Bradley is currently sitting in free agency, probably doing nothing, picking his nose. Get get him to the team. That's what I'm trying to say here. But Marcus Sol could also be an option. Langston Galloway could also be an option. I don't expect Marcus Sol to play for their G League team. That is not going to happen. I think if he doesn't get a contract in the NBA, he'll go play for like Barcelona or someone like that. I also genuinely believe that Langston Galloway could be a dude that signs for their G League team. That might happen. But Isaiah Thomas, I don't think he's signing with their G League team. That was just an idea that I decided to suggest forward. But hey, whoever knows what's going to happen at this point. I think the Warriors will sign Avery Bradley as their 15th man. Uh, it's pretty much confirmed they already have. There's just rumors going around right now that uh, it's not a fully guaranteed contract and that it's a training camp contract as well. Who really knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see how those rumors all kind of pan out and if they are, you know, true and if there's any truth to them, I suppose. But, you know, I really want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA content and NBA news. Of course, don't forget to go and subscribe to my gaming channel, and my IRL slash vlogging channels if you haven't already. I've recently been uploading some 2K content to my gaming channel, so if you haven't already, please go and check that out. Links for them will all be in the description down below. Uh, but of course, if you haven't gone and subscribed to my new podcast channel as well, I would highly recommend going and doing that. I recently just started and I've been uploading a bunch of clips and audio versions to my podcast, so you know... Go and check that out. That would be really, really awesome. Subscribe to it. Leave a like. Go and comment on one of the videos. Maybe saying that you came from this channel. Of course, I would very much really appreciate it. Of course, you know, don't forget to subscribe to my IRO slash vlogging channel as well. Leave a like and comment your thoughts and opinions on the Warriors. Who should they sign as their 15th man? Avery Bradley, Langston Galloway, Marcus Sol, Jeremy Lin. <laughs> Who do you guys think it should be? But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.